Hello, welcome to this session about free RTOS on STM32 devices. Within this session we will discuss about free RTOS and its usage within STM32 devices using STM32 Cube MX application. We will start uh, from the short discussion about the uh, operating system. What is the operating system? What are the main components of it? Then we will switch to the basic features of FreeRTOS. The next point would be the discussion about APIs used uh, within the FreeRTOS. We will shortly discuss FreeRTOS API as a native one. And then we will switch into CMC size API, which is proposed by ARM and which is an additional layer on top of FreeRTOS API. Within STM32 CubeMX and our examples, which are available for all STM32 devices, we are using CMC's OS API layer. This is why we will focus more on this, on this part within this session. The next part would be STM32 CubeMX and its usage to generate the code uh, with free RTOS on it. Then we'll discuss shortly the configuration parameters available for the free RTOS. And a bit longer part would be about the memory allocation schemes and memory allocation techniques used within the free RTOS. Then we will slightly go uh, to discuss the main components of free RTOS, starting from scheduler. Then we will switch to tasks. Next point would be the discussion about the communication between the tasks. So we will touch the uh, queues, uh, semaphores, signals. The next point would be about the uh, resource management. And then uh, next uh, we will switch into the mutexes, software timers. And uh, after all those main components of the operating systems, we will focus a bit uh, on hooks, stack overflow protection, and other advanced topics which are related to free RTOS. We will demonstrate to you the main components uh, about the debugging, which are available within two tool chains, uh, IR and uh, GCC, based on uh, Atoll Lecture Studio example. And we'll discuss low power support, which is implemented uh, within the free RTOS. At the end, you will see some basic information about the footprint of FreeRTOS and its comparison with other operating systems for embedded application without MMU.